if it snowballs into unpleasantness, we say he's in hell. If it snowballs into pleasantness, we say he's in heaven. So heaven and hell are not geographical places, it is a state that somebody gets into. Because once the discriminatory mind is removed, smallest pleasure can multiply into a heavenly proportion. Smallest unpleasantness can multiply into a hell-like situation because the discriminatory mind is absent. And then reincarnation. <laughs> you want to come back now <laughs> So if there is substantial amount of information still stored, which is the karma, the karmic substance is still strong, then once Suppose you left out of feebleness of energy, that is you became old, energies became feeble and it rested for some time. So this kind of life energy just rests for some time without too much activity. But suppose the energies did not become feeble, but you broke the body by accident or suicide or somebody shot you in the head or you... somebody broke your heart, whichever way <laughs> you broke the body and you left, energies were still intense. Now, this will take a long time for it to become feeble without the body and the mind. If you had a regular body and the discriminatory mind, let us say you would have worked out your karma in the next ten years and made the energies feeble. But now that you don't have a body, these ten years may telescope into a thousand years. So this is the reason always they told you should never die of suicide, you never should be murdered, accidental death is bad. Because now your limbo situation is long, very, very long, because you have no discriminatory mind, we don't know which way you will roll, and the chances of finding another womb are very little because you're in a certain level of intensity you cannot find. So unless you come to the right level of intensity, you are not suitable to take on a new body. So if you died of old age, energies became feeble, you just everything is fine with your body, you went to bed and you never woke up. Such a person may get back into another womb within forty-eight hours. But a person who died by breaking his body, either by accident or otherwise, this person may take we don't know how long, depending upon what level of intensity and how much of the information is still there, unworked out. We are going into areas which is which needs much more elaboration if it needs to be properly understood. Speaking just like this uh, is not good. That's why we always joke about it and skip, we never talk about it because it will lead to all kinds of imaginations, yeah. unhealthy imagination. Lead me to believe in spirits and ghosts. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Which is not no, needed. Not needed. Because then people start to... every dark corner they see, they'll start seeing things. And you can make horror movies and make money because a lot of people have wild imagination anyway. Or tendencies <laughs> No, they're all existing by tendencies, not yeah. by con... that is the whole difference. When we talk spirituality, we're essentially talking about moving from compulsiveness to consciousness. Functioning through tendencies to functioning through discriminatory process. That is the key from bondage to freedom.